नमस्कार वेलकम बैक टू चैनल योग अरोरा मेरा नाम है रश्मि और आपका स्वागत है आज के वीडियो में आज के वीडियो में मैं आप लोगों के साथ वाई वेबसाइट पे रजिस्ट्रेशन का जो प्रोसेस है और उससे रिलेटेड जो भी बातें हैं वो शेयर करूंगी हमारे चैनल पे ये वीडियो ऑलरेडी था बट बिकॉज ऑफ सम टेक्निकल ग्लिचेस वी हैड टू रिमूव इट आप में से बहुत लोगों ने मुझे रीच आउट किया ओवर व्हाट्सएप एंड कमेंट्स इस वीडियो के लिए सो आई एम रिक्रिएटिंग दिस वीडियो स्पेशली फॉर यू इस वीडियो के जो है वो तीन एजेंडा है पहला कि आप लोगों को ये प्रोसेस क्लियर हो जाए कि आप लोग वाई के वेबसाइट पर अपना अकाउंट कैसे क्रिएट कर सकते हैं पहला स्टेप जो है वो फ्री ऑफ कॉस्ट है ये जो है वो रजिस्ट्रेशन का प्रोसेस है जिसमें आप लोगों को अपने सारे पर्सनल डिटेल्स जो है वो फिल करने के बाद आप लोग वाई सी के वेबसाइट पे लॉग इन कर सकते हैं सेकंड जब आप लोग यहाँ पर लॉग इन कर लेंगे तो आप लोग एग्जामिनेशन कैलेंडर किस तरह से देख सकते हैं आप लोग देख सकते हैं कि कौन कौन सी एजेंसीज जो हैं वो कौन कौन से सिटी में कौन कौन से ऑनलाइन जो मोड हैं एग्जाम जो है वो कंडक्ट करवा रही है कौन सी डेट्स पे ये आप लोगों के लिए देखना और एनालाइज करना बहुत जरूरी है ताकि आप लोग अपने टाइम के हिसाब से जो भी आपका प्रिपरेशन टाइम है उसको प्लान करके एग्जाम के लिए रजिस्टर कर सकें थर्ड मैं आप लोगों के साथ यहाँ पे ये शेयर करूंगी कि आप लोग अपने रिजल्ट्स को कैसे चेक कर सकते हैं एग्जाम के बाद जो आपका रिजल्ट डिस्प्ले होता है वो वाई के वेबसाइट पे ही डिस्प्ले होता है तो आप लोग अपने रिजल्ट्स को कैसे चेक कर सकते हैं और आप लोग अपने सर्टिफिकेट को भी कैसे डाउनलोड कर सकते हैं तो इस वीडियो के एंड में आप लोगों को ये तीनों चीजें जो है वो क्लियर हो जाएंगी तो चलिए हम लोग देखते हैं स्क्रीन पे की ये प्रोसेस कैसे किया जाता है ओके सो नाउ लेट सी द रजिस्ट्रेशन प्रोसेस फॉर वाई exams so once you search for the ycb you will be able to see a website which is by the name of https yoga certification board dot nic dot in so this is the official website for all the ycb related registrations or the informations so now once you click on this website first for the registration process what you have to do is click on this icon here registration create your account once you create your account then you can use that email id or the username password which you have used during the registration for logging into the website so the registration process here is free and once you log in you can register for the exams so other than that on the website you can also see the syllabus for each certifications which are available under ycb and what are the different notices or uh, as you can see there is revised enrollment fees for yoga professionals some vacancies are there for various posts in ycb for the yoga related all that information notices are available on the the official website of ycb also if there are any events which are happening uh, for the international day of yoga and all that details you can find it here so now for now let's start with the registration process so let's click on the registration so once you click on the registration a pop up will come which will ask you for the permission that an external site will be opening in a new window so you have to click okay so now once this page opens you can see there are three types of enrollments available under ycp for now we are going to focus on the enrollment process for yoga professionals enrollment so all the certification exams which happen for the certified yoga teachers they have to enroll under yoga professional enrollments if you are applying for your institution to be getting registered under ycb then you can use the leading yoga institution or this yoga training center enrollments or if you are applying for the prcb that is to become a certification body then you have to apply under prcb's enrollment so let's focus on the yoga professionals enrollment process for now so you have to click on this now once you click you can see there are four steps so first is the enrollment process second where you have to provide your general details then the pre medical details and the final agreement so let's create a demo account here we have chosen the country title first name i'm just giving a demo name here middle name is not mandatory so you can skip it last name also is not mandatory if you want you can skip it if you want you can fill it so whatever name you are going to fill here will also be displayed in your certificates so make sure the spelling of your name and everything is correct here double check that because that will be displayed in your certificate as well now the gender you have to choose the date of birth nationality is also here a mandatory field father's name is optional you can skip that mother's name is mandatory here so we have to give something spouse name again is not mandatory 
category you have to choose general obc sc st ews others if you have a pw certificate you can mention it yes or no here then you have to upload a photo id proof so what are the available proofs which you can upload here is the passport aadhar card any government issued photo id driving license or a voter id card so you can upload any one of them so suppose i am uploading the passport so i will choose the passport here you have to give the id number the passport number you have to give i am just giving here something for the reference uh then you have to upload this photo id whichever you have selected here so if i have selected passport i have to upload the passport copy here so before uploading make sure that the format is either in the jpg or png and the minimum size should be 50 kb and it should not exceed more than 2 mb so i am uploading a demo document here okay then you have to give your contact number before giving your contact number you also have to put the country code so for example for india the country code is 91 okay i am giving some demo phone number here then you have to choose the photo in the next step photo also should be in the format of jpg png with the size from 50 kb to maximum 2 mb so once you upload your photos photo id proof etc next step is to update the address correspondence that is the correct ad uh, current address so suppose i am giving my current address here whatever address is you have to fill state district and then the pin code now if your permanent address is same as your correspondence current address then you can use this check box if you click on this check box the address will get automatically copied from above if your permanent address is different then you can uncheck this and you have to write your permanent address again choose the state district pin code country now you have to give your email address here so whatever communication will be going to happen like the exam details when your exam is what or do you have registered for etc i mean all the communications related to ycb will happen on this email so make sure that you are giving the correct email here and you remember that email as well so all the correspondence will be done at the mentioned email id please ensure the same is correct is also written here so i am just giving a demo email id here then you have to give a password now here again you have to see that password should be between 8 to 15 characters there should be at least one lower case letter one upper case letter one numeric digit and one special character so while setting the password make sure that all of these characteristics are met rewrite the password enter the captcha what you can see here a3 h u a a so now once you submit the account will get created and you will move to the second step if there are any issues in whatever you have filled here so once you submit it will highlight that so i will copy this email id because we need to copy it somewhere so that we don't forget submit okay so now as everything was correct it has moved to the next step now in the second step you have to update the general details about you the first is the educational qualification so you have to put your academic qualifications below secondary secondary higher secondary graduate post graduate phd or any other so you can choose whatever is your academic qualifications then working experience in yoga if you have any working experience in the field of yoga you can choose here it's nil less than a year less than a 2 year 3 to 5 5 to 10 up to 20 years or greater than 20 years so whatever it is you can put are you presently a student of yoga institution if you are currently studying yoga from somewhere you can put it as yes if no you can put it as no then next is have you been rejected earlier debarred for assessment under the scheme if in that case if you have been debarred or rejected from any of the exam you can put as yes otherwise you can put as no and then save once you save 
you are now moved to the step 3 where you have to update your medical history. So now here are some questions uh, which they are asking that do you have any family history of any of these ailments which are written here. So you have to update as yes or no. So make sure that you are updating it correctly because on the basis of that once you register for the exam, the examiner will assess you on the basis of these only. So if you have any uh, heart ailment, so this will be kept in mind by the examiner when the exam are happening. So suppose if you have any heart ailment, put as yes, otherwise put as no. So you can update yes or no. Once you update this, then you will be able to move to the last step, which is the agreement. Any reaction to medicine, sprain, broken bone, diabetes. So these all are the current diseases. If you have it currently, then only you have to update. If you have these diseases a long year back, then you don't have to say yes. Then it's a no itself. But if you are currently suffering from any of these diseases, then you have to put it as yes. So as of now, I have put no for everything and then save. So the now last step is the agreement where you have to read this that I confirm that I waive my rights to claim for any injury incurred by me during the physical assessment element of examination. I have read the self declaration and agree to abide by the terms and conditions. I have no pending proceedings by any regular authority. I have no instances of discomfort, disability of any students till date and I have no pending judicial proceedings related to my conduct. So if you are able to confirm all this, click on the checkbox, click on submit and your account is now created. So you can see whatever name I had given, it says as welcome that name. So here you can see the profile, whatever you have filled here under YP profile. So whatever details you have given is being shown here. So you cannot edit your profile now once you have submitted it. So make sure while the creation itself, you are rechecking it, you are updating it correctly. And now see, this is how you can see the once you log in. So I will close this now. I will go back to the home page. So now if you come back here after the registration, so you can use this login option. You don't have to register again. Use the option login. Yes. Okay. Now once you log in, it will ask you for your username and password. So you remember the username which we gave. That's our email ID. The password which you would have set has to be given here. Enter the CAPTCHA code and login. So if you give your correct details, you will be able to log in here. So that's the first and second step which we saw. Registration, creating your account and then logging into the YCB website. So now the third thing which we will see here is how you can see that what all certification exams are happening when they are happening. right? So for that, you have to go to the examination calendar. Either you can click here or you can go from this bar as well. So let's click on the examination calendar. So now here you can see that uh, the exam for yoga protocol instructor is happening on 30th July. Today is 23rd July. So this exam is happening on 30th July and it will be, it is getting conducted by SB pass this agency. Okay. And the last date for registration for this exam is 29th. Location is Indore, Madhya Pradesh. If you want to enroll for this certificate, so you can click on enroll now. If you are uh, planning for the online uh, exam, online theory and online practical exam, then you can choose the location online. So here you can see that we have a yoga protocol instructor level 1 exam happening in August. The last date for registration is 17th of August and the mode is online. So that's how you can see which are the agencies available, which is the certificate exam which is happening, what is the date of the exam, what is the date of the registration? What is the mode? So you can choose it as per your requirement and then click on the enroll. So I will give you a demo for this one. So once you click on this, if you have already enrolled for this exam, please click on cancel. 
and go to examination calendar. So as I have not enrolled already, so I will say okay. Okay, now it has taken me to the enrollment details. So here you can see that uh, you can verify the details that the name of certificate is yoga protocol instructor. The agency which is going to conduct this exam is Vishwakarma Computer Saksharta Mission. The enrollment fees here is 500 rupees. These are the dates of exam and the last date of registration. The examination center is online. PIN code is given for the agency. Now the contact person details are also given here that you can contact this person. Uh, the contact numbers, name, email ID, address, everything is provided. And then if you are uh, appearing for this exam for the first time, then you have to click on the checkbox first time appear theory. If you are appearing for this exam, if you're doing a reappear for theory exam, you can have to choose reappear and give your reference number. So how you can see the reference number, I will explain it to you. And if you are applying for this exam, complete exam again, then you have to choose for re-examination. So now what is the difference between reappear theory and re-examination is that you have two types of, uh, I mean, you have two exams going to happen. One is in the theory format and one is in the practical format. So if you clear the practical format and in any case, if you uh, fail to clear the uh, theory part, then you get one chance to appear for theory exam again by paying some extra fees. So you can, in that case, you have to choose reappear theory where you have passed the practical but failed the theory exam in first attempt. Now, if you have failed the practical itself in the first attempt, then you have to completely give both the practical and theory again. So for that, you have to choose the re-examination. In both the re-formats, uh, you have to give the enrollment number and enrollment number you will get only once you register first time. So when I'm clicking on the first time up here, it is not asking me for the enrollment number. Now here you can choose your exam paper language. It's English, Hindi or other. So your uh, theory exam questions will come in the language which you will choose here and your Viva exam practical exam will also happen in the same language which you choose here. So you can choose your language. Suppose I have given English here. And then once you proceed to pay, you have to pay the 500 rupees amount. Once you click on the pay, it will give you the payment options uh, like UPI, debit card, credit card, uh, all that options will be available. You can use any of the comfortable options to pay for the amount. Once you pay, you will be able to see all the details under my examination tab here. So if you click on this, under the my examination list, you will be seeing now serial number one certificate is yoga protocol instructor agency, which we chose file the registration examination date, transaction details and the action. So under the transaction details, you will be able to see your enrollment number details. So that's how you can register for the exam. Okay, now after the exam, how you can check your results. For that also, you have to go under my examinations. So once you have given clear the exam or the results are out, you will be able to see all that under uh, this section only, under this page only, how much marks you have. And also you can download the certificate here. So I will uh, log into my account and I will show it to you that how you can see that. So let's log out from here. I am going to log in using my account. Okay, so now I have logged into my account. So you can see welcome Rashmi. And I want to see what all uh, certificates I have. I have registered for the enrollment number details and all. So for that, I will go to the my examination. So here you can see uh, the name of the certificates which I have, the agency details, the examination dates, transactional details. Under transactional details, you can see the enrollment reference number. So now under the actions, you have to either uh, do the examination fees which you will be going to pay through here and you can see the results if you want to re-evaluate your result that also you can do so once you click on the view result 
it will show you your marks in the theory and in the practical and your result also then uh, if you want to download the certificate you can see this red icon here so once you click on this it says download certificate you will be able to download the certificate so this is a certificate and now you can save it on your system so that's how you can see your examination details तो आई होप दिस वीडियो वॉज यूजफुल फॉर यू आप लोगों को वाई सी बी का वेबसाइट रजिस्ट्रेशन का जो प्रोसेस है वो क्लियर हो गया होगा अगर आप लोगों को वाई सी बी से रिलेटेड कोई भी गाइडेंस चाहिए तो आप लोग मुझे व्हाट्सएप पे कॉन्टैक्ट कर सकते हैं कॉमेंट बॉक्स में अपना मैसेज भेज सकते हैं व्हाट्सएप का जो नंबर है वो आप लोगों को डिस्क्रिप्शन में मिल जाएगा वी हैव ऑल्सो लॉन्च अ स्पेशल कोर्स फॉर वाई सी बी लेवल वन एग्जाम अगर आप लोग उसके बारे में कोई डिटेल्स चाहते हैं तो आप लोग मुझे कॉन्टैक्ट कर सकते हैं और चैनल को सब्सक्राइब करना मत भूलिएगा अगर आप लोगों को इस तरह की वीडियोस की नोटिफिकेशन चाहिए तो बेल आइकन को भी जरूर प्रेस कर दीजिएगा थैंक यू फॉर वाचिंग दिस वीडियो स्टे हेल्दी एंड स्टे हैप्पी